tonight we're taking you guys to Daltonbori, which is this area just behind me. This nice canal wasn't always here. It was an idea of uh, this entrepreneur in 17th century called Yasui Dalton. So it's named after him, this whole area. He thought he would connect the then major bodies of water that kind of uh, made the commerce in the city happen uh, by a canal. This used to be this like tiny little river and he wanted to widen it and make sure that boats and ships can come through and thus make the commerce flourish. Uh, he unfortunately died in a battle but uh, some of his family finished the job and later on this area became a theater district and nowadays it's uh, this great awesome nightlife part of Osaka that is just full of street food and shops and it's almost 10 p.m. now and you know it's midweek it's a Thursday and this place is just you know alive with so many people so many tourists I gotta say this is probably the most fun part of Osaka so why don't you come and follow us through Delton Bori tonight let's have a look what sort of food is on offer because we're pretty hungry and you know like let's have a look So this little shop with the octopus behind me is one of the takoyaki places. Takoyaki is one of the very traditional Osaka street foods. We tried some last night and it was delicious. It was probably the best takoyaki I've ever had. It was so creamy and yummy and they even have like a different kind of it. Ooh, I don't remember what was its name, but I'm gonna try and find out. And it was like the predecessor of takoyaki and it's supposed to be more eggy. Kind of sounded like a good breakfast if you're into octopus. But yeah, if you're in Daltonbori, Takoyaki is one of the first things you should have. Uh, just one warning, like I never really follow it, but I know that I must not eat the takoyaki in like the first five minutes after I've purchased it because it is crazy hot on the inside. It's like, you know, McDonald's hot pocket, crazy lava level of hotness. You will burn your mouth and you will not taste anything for the rest of the night. So yeah, pro tip. amazing views again we had them last night and so juicy and porky and perfect gyoza is not a food that is specific to osaka in any way but i can definitely recommend this one it's you know if you're eating it in two people you're each gonna get like two or four four it's quite a big portion but you know it's basically an appetizer so you're not gonna get full on it you will still be able to eat takoyaki and tayaki and everything Let's go to Osaka and I don't get him. <laughs> Nestled among all of this bustle is this tiny temple called Kozenji, I think. <laughs> Yesterday we came here and uh, there were a couple of monks chanting. It was a really magical experience. I think it was about 7 p.m.-ish. So at that time, you know, if you, if you find this place, it's not hard to find if you have a map, but um, it's definitely a little bit busy and it's worth having a look because the main streets are really, you know, busy with tourists. But when you find this little place, you will find this little um, kind of oasis of calm. So yeah, let's have a tiny look at it. So these little wooden plates are called emma and you will find them in basically every temple in Japan you will go to. Sometimes they come in cute shapes like a dog shape or like a cat face shape. This is quite a regular shape and uh, the point of these is that you buy one at a temple and you write uh, like a wish on it and leave it at the temple and you know that gives you a good chance that the wish might come true. So after 10 p.m. on a weekday, it's actually kind of hard to find a place that's still open or you know that will take you in. But we found this little corner place in one of the like shopping streets, you know, the ones that are roofed, and it has I forgot the name. Karaage chicken. Karaage. 
I'm confused. I can't remember it because it doesn't have the word for chicken or fried in it. So it's just kind of a random word for me. Anyway, this is delicious. It's clearly marinated. I believe karage is like traditional marinated in ginger, maybe soy sauce. But yeah, it definitely has a bit of a gingery kick. And it's salty and delicious and soft. And I could eat buckets of this. Mm. It is now midnight and as you can see there's still so many people around. It's a bit calmer than around like 8ish but still this place is still alive. We've done a little bit of a circuit. We actually kind of went over to the Namba area as well and then came back. Uh, we had some sushi for dinner. Then we found a food truck that sell that sells like fresh creme brulee, just like brulee right there for you, it's lovely. Now we are at like the heart of Totenbori. You can see that's the famous Glico man and you will always see like, many, many people trying to recreate that famous pose. Uh, I hope Simon did get that on film because it's super cute. We are now gonna go to bed. We're gonna go uh, stop by a 7-Eleven or something like that and get something for breakfast, probably uh, Mr. Yogurt like last night. And thank you guys for coming with us. Hopefully you loved our little view of Dotenbori and when you come to Osaka, this is gonna be one of your first stops. <laughs>